Hey power learners! Have you ever looked at a generator and wondered, how does it actually create electricity? Today, we are uncovering the secrets of the three-phase self-excited brushless alternator, the unsung hero of power generation. Stick with me, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how it works, inside and out. Let's jump right in. Inside the alternator, the key players. Before we dive into the process, let's meet the team, the parts inside the alternator that make it all happen. Think of it like building a team for a big game, you need everyone to play their role perfectly. 1. Stator Windings First on the list, the stator. This is the stationary part of the alternator, packed with copper windings arranged in three sets, spaced 120 degrees apart. Why? Because this arrangement produces three-phase AC power, efficient, reliable, and ideal for industrial and heavy-duty applications. 2. Rotor Next up, the rotor. This is the spinning star of the show. Imagine it as a moving magnet surrounded by the stator windings. As it rotates, it creates the magnetic field that interacts with the stator to induce voltage. 3. Field windings. Wrapped around the rotor are the field windings. These are the magnetic boosters of the system. They use residual magnetism to get started and then ramp up with help from the exciter system. 4. Exciter. Now, here's a genius addition, the exciter. It's like a mini alternator attached to the same shaft. Its job. To supply DC current to the rotor's field windings, but here's the cool part, it's completely brushless. 5. Rotating Rectifier Assembly The rotating rectifier assembly is the unsung hero of the brushless design. It takes the AC power generated by the exciter and converts it into DC for the rotor. No brushes, no wear and tear, just smooth power transfer. 6. Automatic Voltage Regulator, AVR Then we have the AVR, the brain of the alternator. This device monitors the output voltage and adjusts the exciter current to keep the voltage stable, no matter how much load you're pulling. 7. Cooling system. Last but not least, the cooling system. All that energy generation creates heat, so fans and ventilation keep everything running smoothly and efficiently. Now that we know the players, let's see how they work together to generate electricity. How voltage is generated. It all starts with a tiny detail, residual magnetism. Inside the rotor, even when the alternator is off, there's just enough magnetic field left to kickstart the process. This is where it all begins. When the prime mover, like a diesel engine, spins the alternator shaft, the rotor starts turning. As it spins, the rotor's magnetic field cuts through the stator windings, inducing a small voltage in the stator. Think of it as the alternator waking up from a nap. That initial voltage goes straight to the AVR, which amplifies it and sends it to the exciter. The exciter generates AC power, and the rotating rectifier assembly converts it into DC. This DC power is then sent to the rotor's field windings, creating a stronger magnetic field. As the rotor's magnetic field intensifies, it induces more voltage in the stator windings. This feedback loop continues until the alternator reaches full power. The result? A stable, reliable three-phase AC output ready to power homes, industries, and more. Why three-phase power? But wait, why three-phase? Here's the brilliance, the stator windings are arranged in three sets, spaced 120 degrees apart. This creates three AC waveforms that are perfectly balanced, making power generation and distribution far more efficient. That's why three-phase power is the gold standard for large-scale systems. Why brushless is better? And here's the icing on the cake, the brushless design. Traditional alternators use brushes to transfer current, but they wear out over time. With the brushless design, the rotating rectifier assembly eliminates this problem, ensuring low maintenance and high reliability. It's built to last. Conclusion So, there you have it, the inner workings of a three-phase self-excited brushless alternator. From the initial spark of residual magnetism to the efficient generation of three-phase power, every component works in harmony to deliver reliable electricity. 
If you found this explanation helpful, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the Power Learning channel for more insights into the tech that powers our world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.